Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. I had to fix my hair. I had to get some hair color for what my medicine does to me. Anyway, let's get down to the fact that I have all my stuff for Michael's crap. And here's the last five pack that did not get damaged of the canvases that I really do thank them for giving me a extra discount on not just these um, because it was the last pack they really did and I really thank them for it for finding me the package of canvases that weren't damaged if you saw in the first video um, the follow me around that I had seen that a bunch of the canvases were damaged this was the only pack of the five packs that were not damaged in their inventory on the floor. So, thank you very much, Michael's Crafting. This is not a sponsored video. Um, so, on to what we bought today is the Level 6 Fan Brush. Yay! This is also a blender brush. This is going to be so awesome to work with. I'm so, so excited. $3.99. Oh my gosh. This is like a crafting haul. It's actually what I should have put in the title. Crafting haul. So it's kind of like an unboxing, I guess. Um, and they gave me another coupon. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh, I, look at that, guys. Thank you, Michael's Crafting. You gave me an extra coupon to use. Oh. Oh. It's good to take more. You know what, though? I want to go back there because. You know those beads? Those beads that I found? You know what I'm talking about. Those beads that look like a jean jack-o'-lantern. Okay, and then don't forget, now that we have extra little thingies to paint with, and I noticed something. Like the brand of the canvases go with the paint knives. It's the same brand. <laughs> it's the same brand. And what's funny is, I believe, no, 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 no. The other, the other um, fan brush that I have, it's the same brand fan brush. That's okay. It's all matchy matchy. But the canvas and the um, the paint knives, the, this is so cool because now I have the same, same styles as Mr. Bob Ross. And uh, these are going to be so wonderful to work with because we have all these different sizes. And you just open them up right here on the back, just right here on the back. Just reach in and grab whichever size you want. They have some in here shaped like a little better. Now. I mean, look at that. Focus. Focus, little camera focus. Look at that. Isn't that just so cool? Although you can kind of see your hand through. Isn't that just so cool? I'm sure once you clean them and dry them, you just want to keep them stored. Just put them back in your little pouch. Once you have that on here, just hang it on the wall. Hang it on the wall. Keep them organized. Keep them together. Paint knives of a feather hang together. Since you got all these different sizes, it's so cool. Four, five, six. It's a seven pack, even though this says six. Two, three, four, five, six. Well, okay, well, there's six. Okay, well, there is six. Whatever, I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay. I need more coffee today. And it's still free all day. I have to walk. Okay. <laughs> Down to our last thing. 
down to our last thing. So this is like a double for me. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And still, it's the same brand as the canvases and it's the same brand as the paint knives. But I have never brought, bought this. Okay, I really need more coffee. Um, <laughs> to stop brain farting. It's the same brand as the canvas. It's the same brand as the knives and it is the paint and palette set that we bought today there is the thumb hole on the back of it as you can see so you know you just go like that so um when this is open this is going to be so great to use just oh my we have the titanium white the brilliant yellow Brilliant blue, brilliant red, phthalo green. It says Mars black. I've never used a Mars black. I thought Mars wasn't black. Wait, is it Mars red? Isn't that an interplanetary thing? Mars isn't black, but hey, whatever. They named it Mars Black. But this is going to be so excellent to use. Um, use your electronic coupon again. I really think Michael's Crafting for giving me the extra discount today. Thank you so, so much. This, this is what they gave me my extra discount on. Okay, originally this is $19.99, but it's actually worth it. I think this would be a great gift for somebody. Um, maybe if my channel really takes flight, I think that this would be like something if my channel really takes off. There, I accidentally opened it. I accidentally opened it, so maybe, maybe we'll just have to take out all this paint and see how this fits on my hand. But you know what though, this is kind of cool. They separated the paint from the palette itself on here. So these, these are nice size. These are really nice size tube of paint. So now that we have it this way, we won't have to be taking like glob glob you know um we'll be able to just take it a certain way and be able to um take those paints on there sorry for how loud that'll be on the microphone um oh i gotta show you guys this it's separate so we can separate the darks from the light colors on here. Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna be as excited as I am. Yay! Okay, I gotta show you guys this part. I got a trash can over here. Yay, and it landed in there. Look at this, guys. You see that? Where it's like all separated? And everything so it's like when I punch the hole in here hold on you got a pair of scissors in a drawer would a crafter be a crafter without a pair of scissors nearby nope nope and if you want to know I barely have makeup on today. barely I don't really wear that much makeup to tell you the truth since my modeling days I'm not really a makeup person anymore really love to let my pores breathe okay that's the paper out of my way okay and, uh, oh hell with it on this visa okay so this is how i will be holding this so i'm sticking on me anyway so this is how i will be holding this Okay, so, and since we do have a paintbrush right here, we'll just be able to, like, lay out how we want our paints, right? Lay out how we want them. And I'll have to get used to how I hold this. 
So I do have rather long look. That's like an alien coming through the thing, right? <laughs> it's like an alien or a ghost um, come through there. So it'll be like, you know, picking things up and, you know, be able to blend it over here. It's exactly how we can do it. We'll be able to blend things over here. Maybe we'll be able to have like colors sitting over here. Be able to blend over here. You know, we can figure out how we're going to do this now. And I think this is going to be so awesome. I've never owned a paint palette. Never in my life have I ever had the opportunity to own a paint palette. Or, I mean, I've owned a fan brush once in my life. It got thrown away by the people that raised me. I bought my own art supplies, but they threw them away. I was getting ready to do a Japanese dragon oil painting when I was 17 years old. And they threw away my canvas and my oil paints. out of jealousy um, because they knew I could do it and um, it was the only time I owned a fan brush and they threw away my art supplies so um, don't give up never never give up and, um, and I had also painted a geisha Harleys are so great. I wish if I could drive I'd own a motorcycle. Um <laughs> seriously. Um but you know opportunities come in your life and don't give up on them. This is gonna be great to work with now. We have all these colors, new canvases. Don't forget we have next week coming up. Um and then when I do finish the Monsters Family Portrait, I will show it to you before I ship it off with the Adam West Portrait. They have to be shipped together this month um, so that Butch Patrick can receive both of them. Um, I won't be able to make it to Ohio, so sorry about that snake. And let Butch know that I won't be able to make make it to the Munsters Masquerade. Tight, pinchy budget. Um, so, with that said, I know it's like a little magic wand. Poof! Um, <laughs> but, you know, hey, if I could go poof magically. YouTube worked right again. Poof. Work right. Poof. Um, <laughs> that would be cool. Poof. Give me a million subscribers. That that would be cool. <laughs> Little joke in there. Little weekend joke. Um but hey, you know what? This will even be great for working on my Monsters Family Portrait. Now that I won't have to stress over, you know, that, that little thing. Um, the, yeah, and I'll still be able to cover this and be able to save paint on this. Even like Bob Ross said, he would cover his paint palette and be able to save his oil paint that was left over and be able to save that by doing the same thing that I did with the foil is what he would do with his oil paint and don't be afraid to do that. That is a technique that works with acrylics. If you buy them in the tubes like these or in the smaller tube and it works with the oil paints and yes, it will work with the water paints only if you buy them in the tube. Only if you buy them in the tube. No other way. Only if you buy them in the tube. Now if you just buy the, the round palleted 
ones, you don't have to worry about those going bad because you can just re-wet them. And then voila, poof, voila. Um, and like I said, you know, hey, if you have a beginner painter and you really want to get them something good for the holidays or birthday, I think something like this with the paint, you know, the set with the paints and you want to start them off with get brushes and you know you saw me with the follow me along and Michael's crafting. No, we had to do it in segments. Because, you know, hey, if I had gone there earlier, maybe I would have caught the people that were punching the holes. And then I found out what the people do is they'll come in there and they'll purposely pop the holes in a bunch of canvases and wait for the, they have to put them on a discount. Just so they can come in, buy them up and repair them. And they're finding out that it's a lot of college students doing it. Well, you know what? I don't appreciate your college student asses damaging these beautiful canvases because I purchased them for my YouTube channel. I don't appreciate that. Um, I purchased them outright. And I appreciate where I purchased my products from. So you better learn how to appreciate. Better learn how to appreciate because these people work hard. These people work hard. And that young black girl that, that checked me through, she is a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart. And she's always very nice to me. In fact, all the employees in there, the Latinos, the blacks, the white, I don't care who they are. They're always very nice to me in there. Always very helpful, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, Unijman is very nice in there too, but um, very helpful. And like, look here, I'll show you something like on this brush. It has like one little hair right here already starting to pop up. And when you have a little hair like that, it's starting to pop up. All you ever have to do is just like, that little hair. See? I don't know. There you go. And just pluck it out. Just later on on your canvas. Just like take it like this and if you have any loose hairs, they'll just come right out. So see that already had one loose hair in it. It had one. And I'll tell you what, a lot of those college students go in there and they steal these brushes. I said $3.99. Don't steal the brushes. This was the last one left. Um, this was like the last out of, I think, three packages left of these paint knives. So um, respect the stores that you go to. Don't disrespect. People work hard for what they earn. And people scrimp, scrape and save for what they get. I know I definitely do because for my channel, um, for both Charlene's Native American Kitchen and here for Charlene's Art Corner, I pay out of my own pocket. I don't have sponsors and I never have. Um, and I appreciate the discounts that I get. So, so my word is be positive when you go into a place that you're going to be respectful to the establishments that you go into. I used to work in retail and I used to work in fashion because I used to design custom clothing. So I have had my custom designs actually stolen by Revlon and they did not respect me by pay. That's right. I'm using sign language 
today. So, Revlon, no, pay me. So, <laughs> with Revlon, no, pay me. I felt very disrespected. And as you know on my YouTube channel, when when I pay every time I do sign language they do that. I think they get confused. Why should they get confused? I don't know. Maybe they're just crazy. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, since these are still sticky on the back, I can just put them back on the palette. Um, but anyway, guys, um, like I said, just be respectful of the establishment you go into. People do really work hard for the money that they earn. Um, that's why I really respect for the places I go. Wawa, Michael's Crafting, Bath and Body Works. Um, yeah, doesn't matter where you go, just always be respectful to where you go. People work hard, you know? So it's like, always give them a thank you. And always tell them, Please and thank you. When you're in their establishment, they always appreciate that. And yes, I'm still learning my sign language, so I'm only using the basics. So relearning it is very helpful, um, especially when you're in public. Um, I know some of you that probably watched my second half of my Follow Me Around you probably got a kick out of like the part where I was in the beads. It's okay though. It's cool. It's cool. Do you work here? No. I know where everything is. Um, see, look, they stuck on there again. <laughs> Pretty much. Look, they'll probably, see, one fell. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't really have, have that one on there like too hard. Uh, well it's on there good enough but anyway guys i'm gonna end this video because because i'm not gonna do ghetto talk because let's not do bionics let's start speaking english again english 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 until i start learning my native american languages a lot better um because I'm, re you know, actually learning them and learning the Cherokee and the Navajo. Um, and then I want to learn Arapaho, which I believe is not too far off from the Navajo. So, um, language. Um, and then also learn Cherokee. Um, and then see if I can learn Blackfoot, which is, since I found out I'm full blood, I should actually learn Blackfoot first. So, um, seriously. Um, but anyway, guys, since we've done this, I'm really excited to use that paint palette this weekend. I know you guys have seen me make my excited face before, which is really weird. I'm not having a seizure, I promise you. <laughs> it's just an excited face to use the paint palette. Um, but you know what? Hey, I didn't like how the one was coming out, so I may just actually use the other palette, or not palette, the other canvas that I have blank. And um, that I showed you guys is still wrapped up. And, you know, the ones that I buy actually do come in a five pack buy them in bundle packs. You save yourself a lot 
of money and being serious. Um, and uh, well, I hope you guys was showing you how you can do a lot of things that kids will really enjoy. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And my one person that came up yesterday, you know what? Let me see where's my memory wire. This is this is memory wire. I know it looks like a slinky. This is not a slinky. This is memory wire. This is what we make bracelets out of. A bracelet in here. I gotta send this to Bunny. I gotta send this to Graveyard Girl. Um, it's pretty, isn't it? You can make these for uh, like bridal parties. You can make these for like Mother's Day, birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, all sorts of things. You know, they're just, they're nice. You can just make, you know, and then you use different kind of beads. You can make these for kids. You know, um, memory wire is just, it's, it's a fantastic thing to work with. If you know people that are disabled and they can't really use their hands to like use a facet, um, you know, like to hook your bracelet, they won't have to worry about it. Let me show you. They won't have to worry about it. All they have to do is this. All they have to do is this. Hook the bracelet, hook the bracelet on and go like that. That's it. Simple as that. Kids, that's all they have to do is put it on like that. Look, it's on all day. Okay, let's say you have a disabled child that, okay, you want to take them to a special event. They're paraplegic. But you, you want to take them out somewhere special, but, you know, you want to put something on them that's special, something pretty, something fashionable, but something that's not going to hurt them. Hello. Something that's not too tight. Perfect, right? This is perfect because this is not going to be too tight. You can adjust it. You can adjust it. If they twitch, it's not going to hurt them. And I'm being serious. I have had a hemp and turquoise one on four that when I started to have a seizure, it didn't break. It didn't fall off. It didn't break. Nothing happened to it. It stayed on my wrist the whole time during a seizure. You know, if one of these can stay on me during a seizure, that's pretty damn good. If this one of these can stay on a person during an epileptic seizure, that's pretty damn good. <sighs> pretty damn good. <laughs> so, okay, you're like out dancing and everything, and you're like, okay, so like, I don't go to clubs anymore. So let's say, okay, you're out on the town for the night and okay, you want to wear something, but you don't want to wear something too tight, too loose, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Slap one of those on and you're out. It's not going to come off. No burrs. It's going to stay right on you. So anyway, everybody, I will see you later. Actually, next week for brand new paintings. So have a great weekend. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. And I will see you on Monday. See you then. Love ya. Bye.